are you? What? I said, who are you? What's your name? You know my name. I know the name you told us. Well, there you are. <sighs> I think you're Excuse me? Your name. Sawyer, your suit, your watch, the whole package. I know what it is to put on a show. I think you're putting on a show. You want to know about me? You like me? I was born in Pittsburgh. Father died when I was two. Mother died when I was five. Moved to Buffalo. Lived with my aunt and my uncle. She sat around on her fat ass all day long while he ran scams. Pirating video, little legal tap action. Okay? So I watched him and you know what I learned? That people are stupid. Everybody thinks they can get something for nothing. Went to Salt Lake City. <laughs> now there's a party town. Spent six years building fake ATMs and put them in malls. Cleared 80 grand before I finally got busted. By then I'm like 24 years old. I met this girl, that didn't really work out. 30, Miami, me and three other guys, we run a really good one. We're repping the Swiss bank, right? You're gonna love this. And, and we're calling the grandkids of Holocaust survivors and telling them about UN Resolution 865, where Germany's forced to pay restitution to these families. These families are all entitled to 2,364 bucks. All they gotta do is give us their account info so we can wire them money. <laughs> he came down on me pretty hard after that one, so. I bailed down under, Auckland first, then Sydney. And that part of the story you don't get to hear. When I was in residency, my first solo procedure was a um, spinal surgery on a 16-year-old kid, a girl. At the end, after, after 13 hours, I was closing her up and I accidentally ripped her synovial sac. You know what that is? It's right at the base of the spine. It's where all the nerves come together. The membrane is thinnest tissue. And it ripped open. <laughs> nerves are spilling out like angel hair posture, spinal fluids flowing out, and I just, just froze. Because I knew. If I didn't get those nerves back in that sac and sew it up, the last 13 hours were for nothing. She'd be paralyzed. And I had about a minute. All the assistants are looking at me. I can feel their eyes on me. <laughs> and the fear was just so, so crazy, so real. But I, I knew I had to deal with it. So I just made a choice. I just let the fear come in. Let it do its thing. Let it work on me. But only for five seconds, that's all I was going to get it. And I started to count. I could feel it like a milkshake on a hot day. One, two, three, four, five. And it was gone. I went back to work, sewed her up, and she was fine. I think everybody has something like that. That moment where you establish your relationship with fear and you either learn to deal with it or, or you don't.